Google is killing Chrome OS in favor of Android, and we know that Android is going to be the operating system moving forward on low-end laptops, and it's going to be replacing what was commonly known as a Chromebook. We also know that Samsung has a very close working relationship with Google, and oftentimes a lot of Google's newest features that are coming to Pixel also come to the newest flagship Samsung device at the same time, which is definitely a reason why I'm kind of leaving Google Pixel for another brand, although I'm not sure what it might be. That said, I think that we have a long track record of how Samsung implements a desktop operating system into Android with Samsung DeX. And recently, Samsung has given us the newest iteration of Samsung DeX while still allowing us to use the older version of Samsung DeX. But I recently discovered this while using Samsung DeX on my Samsung Galaxy Tab S9. And I thought we should explore this newer, kind of not as powerful desktop version of DeX to see where the future of Android might be going and to see whether or not Google should take any of these kind of features or design cues from Samsung in their newest iteration of a Android desktop operating system for say. So the first is the dock on the bottom and how Samsung has that implemented. Now we've had a bottom desktop dock for a while with Android. That was something that I believe came with Android 13. And it's something that was definitely a shift that kind of told us that Android might be coming to more large screen devices. On top of that, the way it's implemented on this newer version of Samsung DeX with your app drawer down there, it feels all very kind of desktop operating system that is still touch friendly, which is something that we might see for quite a few Chromebooks or X Chromebooks. Next is that all of the apps in this newest iteration of Samsung DeX have a gray border around them, along with these touch points that go ahead and prompt you to do things like split window, multitasking, minimize the app, etc. These kind of lead me to believe that Google might adopt some of these design cues to go ahead and tell users that this is a desktop operating system, you can split window stuff, and you, we, we want you to multitask with this, which is something I don't necessarily like, but I don't necessarily dislike, just as long as Samsung keeps the old version of Samsung DeX and allows me to use multiple monitors, I'll be happy. The third thing is auto-correct when a physical keyboard is attached and its ability to use a variety of different prompts to go ahead and select different highlighted words. This is something that I think will definitely possibly make it to the next version of Android on a large screen device because it allows users to take advantage of powerful autocorrect and AI in the keyboard to go ahead and shorten typing tasks and allow you to better utilize predictive text typing or predictive typing and text when you're inputting text into a text box. Fourth is the redesigned app drawer, which allows you to scroll through different apps and app groups. This is something I think that we could definitely see on the next version of Android for a large screen device. I think that it's actually something that Google has already implemented on the Pixel Fold, and I think that app pairs might be a way that Google tries to differentiate itself from Apple in calling Android more of a power user desktop class operating system. Fifth is that scrolling along the dock with a mouse will allow you to see different previews of apps that you have open. This is something that's been in the newest iteration of Samsung DeX, but it's something that we see on Windows and Mac OS, and it feels like it's something that we're definitely going to see in this next version of Android for computers. Now, while it's too early to know exactly what Google is planning for this transition from Chrome to Android, Samsung's current implementation of DeX and the old version of DeX on Android tablets seems to take advantage of large screen and multi-windows while maintaining a touch-friendly UI and the ability to use both a mouse and your fingers with this overall layout. I think it's something that Google will take heavy inspiration from, especially with the ability to scroll through the bottom line of apps with your mouse and see previews. 
That's something that we already have on Windows and Mac OS. And I think that's something that will definitely make it to the next replacement of Chrome. For the rest of the things, I could see how Google prompting users with touch points from multi-window would definitely be a way that Google tries to kind of show that you're able to do more and being able to layer multiple windows on top, which you've always been able to do in Samsung DeX, might be a differentiator for why it's more powerful than like iPad OS. But needless to say, I think it's very interesting to look at a desktop version of Android from Google's biggest manufacturer that we have already and how they're trying to make changes to the desktop operating experience that they've had for a while to possibly make it seem more cohesive. Although I'm not in favor of a watered down version of DeX and I love how powerful classic DeX is, I definitely see why the newest iteration of DeX would be more new user friendly and be a good substitute for Chrome OS on a device. But let me know where you think Google is going to take this next iteration of Android OS for laptops in the comment section down below. What is, what, 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 what? Check, 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 check. What is replacing Chrome OS? What is replacing Chrome OS? What is replacing Chrome OS? Chrome OS is going away and Google is replacing it with some flavor of Android. But what flavor 